Uh, I did predict for Baked Alaska uh, that he would go to jail in 2023. And sure enough, by prognostication of prognostication and the foresight imaginable, uh, Baked Alaska was going to jail for an NFT salesman. If you don't know, Trump put out an NFT right at the turn of the new year in 2022. And sure enough, he did go to jail. Here's Bake saying that he's going to jail. Yo, let's fucking go. What's up, everybody? Your boy Baked Alaska here, about to go into federal prison. Let's go. What's up? So I'll tell you the story real quick. I am going into federal prison for a nonviolent misdemeanor crime. I didn't touch anybody. I wasn't violent. I didn't steal. I didn't loot. I didn't do any of that. But guess what? I'm being politically persecuted because of my politics. And I guess somebody's got to pay the crime. So I love you guys. Just want to say I'm going to be fine. It'll be good. I'll see you in 60 days. And just know this is what's going on in America. This is where your taxpayer dollars are going. I love you guys. It's going to be good. Yoba never dies. See you soon. God bless and pray for me. Sorry, Yo, I swallowed. Let's fucking. What are wrong? Give me a second. I'm drowning. Chat, I hate those glasses. What is what are those glasses called, Chat? Sorry, I'm still dying. <sighs> okay, I'm better. Sorry, I had to relax a bit. They killed me. Yeah, it's true. Um. Oh yeah, pit vipers. That's right. There's a user on the Kiwi Farms called Pit Viper Salesman. I should know this by now. Uh, Baked Alaska did go to jail. He got out 60 days. Time served. Allegedly, he snitched. That's why he got a short prison sentence. But while other people got years and years and years for doing fuck all, he literally kicked his feet up on the desk of Nancy Pelosi. And nothing happened. He got 60 days. Whatever. I don't know. I, what, I, I don't know what he's up to. Can chat elucidate me? I um, investigated a little bit. And I found that um, he's filming, like, a documentary. He, like, hurt himself really bad, like, just recently. There's a big hole in his pants that's uh, covered up by the uh, by the gauze in this photo. But he said, cut my knee oh, bad, real bad, in Miami, filming a new documentary. I will be fine getting stitches. I love you guys. Appreciate some prayers. So I don't know what he's doing up in Florida um, on his knees, getting his, his knee cut open and shit. Very bizarre. Uh, if anyone know, does anyone know? Does anyone know what what he's actually up to? Doing shitty streams with OnlyFans porn stars lusting after one, one of them, but got badly felted. I thought that he was saved. He was saved, Alaska. He was doing the whole Crisis King stuff. If I was if I was trying to do the whole Crisis King thing, I would not interview a prostitute. I can barely hold my fucking contempt for prostitutes. Does anyone care? I care. I want to know. I want to know what he's up to. The Kino Casino felt at him. Grifting off Kanye. He ditched that after America First died. <laughs> he's filming the documentary of being a loser and contemplating turning out. I guess nobody knows. Nobody knows what Baked Alaska is up to. I don't know. Baked Alaska is like such a. I would say that he feels, to me, he feels like a very disingenuine person. I guess that's like a no shit kind of observation, but it's just kind of like, there are some people that it's really hard for me to get a read on as to what they're actually about, what they're actually interested in. And that's one of the most off-putting things that, that a, a person can have as a trait. Like if I, if I know of you and I don't really know anything about you, um, you're like alien to me. Like I, I need, I should be able to name like a couple, like in order for someone to appear human, they need interests. They need things that they care about. And I really don't know what baked Alaska cares about. Like what, what does he care about? What is it? Wh People who don't have like a, a field or like a realm that they're particularly interested in or dominant in, um, we're just like aliens. They're just like, who are you? You're just like a cracker. 
like a like a little cracker absorbing whatever whatever stew you're put into he's bland money and fame <clears throat> or troops that's true should i remind everybody should i remind everybody about baked alaska's music career what's the what's the um law enforcement is the is the the magnum opus the magnum opium <clears throat> Type in baked Alaska. I just got the food. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. We'll just you know. Let's do the MAGA anthem. I think that this one we don't hear this one as much, so we'll listen to this one. Yeah. Uh. Build the wall. It just got ten feet higher. Yeah. Build the wall. It just got ten feet. Ten feet higher and build and build and build and just build the wall. Build and build and build and just build the wall. I just wanna make America great. I just wanna have a drum stick on my plate, making history again. Cause my daddy keeps winning. Got the nomination, yeah, that's just the beginning. Wait, 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 wait. He calls Trump daddy. My daddy keeps winning. That's potent. That's pretty fucking gay. That's pretty fucking gay, chat. Um, I, did, I, I was not aware that in MAGA Anthem, Baked Alaska calls Donald Trump daddy, but uh, that's pretty fucking gay. You know, I could talk about Trump. I'm gonna make you know what? I'm gonna make a prediction about Trump since we're on the since we're on the topic chat. I, I have um, a forked prediction for Trump. I predict only if Trump goes to jail that he will be the president. If they if they actually put him in jail in Georgia for insurrection or obstructing justice or whatever the fuck, I predict that he will win the presidency regardless of what they try to do because. That's, let me explain, and whenever, some sometimes, I, you may not consider me a socialite chat, but I do get around, and sometimes I talk to people in real life, um, and when I talk to Europeans, especially people um, who are from the West, God help them, um, and they talk about Trump, they talk about Trump like a joke, they don't understand, I said, how can you vote for Donald Trump, he's orange and a fool and he talks like a fucking retard what is wrong with americans why do you elect him and this is the most concise way that i've found to explain to a western european liberal why people vote for trump without getting into any politics and without getting into um the the minutia of american political politics that nobody gives a fuck about to be quite honest this is why people vote for trump it is because it's funny America at this point will vote for the funniest candidate and Trump being president is funny. However, people also care about their finances a little bit too. Um, but mostly if it's funny, Americans are all for it. They like laughing. So the only people may not be a hundred percent on Trump. They might, here's the real issue with Trump is that people don't, he had his shot, right? I don't, I really think that enough people like to actually like fuck over the rigging. You need enough people coming out to, to voot that care. And I don't think in 2020, he had the, the momentum and people just didn't care enough to go out and vote for him. However, if he goes to jail, him winning will be so funny. It will compel people to go out and vote for him everywhere. And people don't like Joe Biden. Even people who are liberal do not like Joe Biden, which means they will not go out and vote for him. And they will surely try to run Joe again if Trump is in jail. They will just assume that Trump is going to lose if he's in jail because who the fuck would vote for a criminal? Not realizing how funny it would be if Trump wins presidency from a jail cell. And they will underestimate the funny factor and just try to shove through Joe Biden again. And they, they won't, they won't, they, they will be shocked when, when fucking California is red because nobody voted for Trump except 
all the black people and Latinos who thought it would be hilarious to put a criminal in, in, in the White House. That is the truth. <clears throat> that, that's the reality of the situation. That's what I tell Europeans. I say, we vote for Trump because it's very, very, very funny, and it doesn't matter anyways. That's why. Um, there we go. What's my tr Trump will win presidency. Only if he goes to jail, though. If, if he doesn't go to jail... I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't. I'm not sure yet. It's, it's too early. Maybe. Uh, you know what's funny is that somebody um, in chat once asked me like a year ago, "Who do you? Who would you vote for?" And I I didn't want to give like a real answer, so I went to the Wikipedia page for Republican candidates for president. And there was like 20 of them, and I picked the one that was polling the least, and it was Vivek Ramaswamy. So I said I would vote for Vivek Ramaswamy. And they thought they, they said, "Oh, you're a fucking it's a joke." It's like it's like meme candidate who announced randomly, and now he's like the second place, and they, people like him, uh, even though he's like I don't know. People have mixed feelings about him, but I I I picked him literally just because he had an Indian name, and he was in, in dead last when I pulled up the the Wikipedia page for Republican candidates. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was that that Noel bump, the Josh, the Matty bump that got him going. Funny how things happen. Vivek, I don't know. I, I, I pronounce his name like the guy from uh, from the Elder Scrolls. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.